Welcome back everybody to Nickyball1 and to Space Engineers. First of all, I have to say thank you for all the new subscribers on my channel. It's just amazing and I have, again I have to say thank you. Yeah, uh, it's just helping me and I have no words for that. It's just really amazing. Yes, it's just helped me very, very much uh, in my life and so and I have to say thank you for that. Anyway, today I have a ship for you, a new ship. It's called Olympia and is created by the Beauty of Wars XH. I hope that's right. If not, I'm sorry for that. And here you have it. It looks amazing. I, and I have to say, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm just gonna fly a little bit around and then I'm gonna show you what is so amazing on that ship. So I'm just gonna fly around. And I have to say that armor uh, on the sides, I'm just gonna show it so here and here, it's just, it's it's well angled and it's not directly on the middle on the ship, I mean it's here as you can see, um, here, it's on rotors, which is very amazing and I love the design, so like a little bit of spaced armor around the ship, of the main ship, uh, here you can see also a rotor on it, it's amazing. It's just amazing to build it it's, and have to know where are you put that rotors and which de uh, degrees you put it on. It's amazing. I love the design. Anyway, I'm just now gonna go into the ship. Here on the front you have the hangar. Uh, on the front, it's, in it's interesting, there's a hangar on the front. I've never seen that before. So I'm just gonna open that hangar, then I'm just gonna fly in the hangar and again I'm just gonna close that hangar behind me. Here you have the main hangar, which looks very nice, so you can look up, there's a glass, uh, glass panels everywhere. Anyway, now I'm just gonna go through here, and the doors are automatically open and closed because here's a sensor. So first of all, I'm just gonna go up. Here, in the back is the control room, but now I'm just gonna go through here, and I'm, if I go through here, I'm just gonna... Um, I can just look down here into the main hangar, which is very nice. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna go up. It's interesting here, so uh, I'm just walking here on glass. It looks very amazing. So up here, we have just a, uh, like a waiting room. Um, he and here also, which looks very nice. Here in the back you have the oxygen tanks. And if you look down here, we can look outside of the, win uh, of the hangar down here to the space. Here you have some pots and medical base and also you can see on front here out. It's very very nice. I'm just gonna go back now. I love the design, it's just amazing. I like more than it, so. So now I'm just gonna go down here again and I'm gonna go into the control room. So here in the control room we have all the, it's the main bridge, all the little functions on the on the panels and up here we have the main control um, seat here anyway I'm just gonna continue on it looks very very nice so I'm just can can go a little bit f uh, to the back now and here we are now in the knee up here are the escape bots of the ship so I'm just gonna go up here so and up here um, we have here the escape pods. You can, so if you are for crash or an attack and you want to escape off the ship, you can go here or there, the little ships, and you can escape there. It's a very nice idea to that. Anyway, I'm just gonna go now back down here and back through here. Again, all the way down. This is here like a waiting room if you wanna escape, but why would you wait? I have no idea. Um, so down here we have the reactors, the gyroscopes, as you can see, and also some cargo containers. So here on the, is the main reactor room. Here are some, here are just some big reactors, and also the jump drive is here, located. It's very interesting. If I go further down here, I'm just here back at the hangar, which is very nice. Just love the inside and the outside of the ship. Uh, I have no words for that. And also here, if you go here, you can control the refinery. It's very interesting. If I go away from that, you can see it's just gonna rotate back. 
And if I go near, it's just gonna rotate again like so. It's very interesting, like uh, little features on the side. I love that. Anyway, I think that will be it from the internet from, from the outside now. I'm just gonna see you in a moment where I'm near the planet. Yeah, and also I forgot something about if you go up here to the main cockpit and if you if you just go into the cockpit, you can also look around. But the main thing is if you press one or uh, yeah, one, you have all the controls here and it's coming near to you. It looks very, very amazing. You have all the things on your ship here in the inside. And that is just amazing, just a little note by the way. But anyway, I'm just gonna see you in a moment. So now I'm near the planet and at 9000 meters we should see some damage because of the re-entry into the atmosphere of the planet. So in any moment we, I hope we see some damage. Anyway, so at 9000 meters, so we have now just a couple me a little, little bit of meters left. So, and let's just take a little bit more. Yes, now 9,000 meters and the heat level is rising. So I'm just gonna go out and look around if we see some damage. And yeah, I have no idea. If, and I, it, it starts smoking. And yes, we have already some damage. So I'm just gonna go on the back view. And... Holy crap, we're losing some parts. I can see some parts. Oh my god. Holy crap, what is going on? Holy crap. Oh my god, the, the half of the ship is just completely gone. What is happening? Holy shit. And we are now crashing into the ground. Holy crap, there are many parts flying off. This is just amazing. And now we are just crashing. I have no control at all and... Holy crap, the ship is gone. Now there's just a little, thing, a little thing left. But I think there are just many parts now coming down to the planet. Yes, they are just coming. Holy crap, I mean it's like snow with parts. It's, it's just amazing. I have no idea if you can see the, all the parts of coming down on the screen because the recording, uh, the recording is a little bit darker. Holy crap, what is going on with that part here? That is the only thing left of the ship. The only part that, uh, I mean, only big part. And now our, all the little parts are coming down. Holy crap. That's just amazing. It's amazing. The whole ship just fell apart in the atmosphere. Amazing. Holy crap. I I think the uh, other parts uh, with the rotor, the parts are just um, hit at the main structure and that caused it to just for the complete destruction. So I'm just gonna look now at the main part which is uh, left and what are we looking at? What is this? Um, hmm. I have no idea what this is. is this Back, the front, I think this, yeah, it's the back, but which part of the back? Um, I have no idea. Just, yeah, it's the back part. That's, that's for sure. Uh, for sure. For sure. That's, yeah, I can't speak anymore. It's just so amazing, so I can't speak anymore. Sorry for that. So down here, we have also another room, uh, attach, uh yeah. Lever, lever here intact, a little bit of a lever. And down here we have just a little bit a uh, rotor here left and uh, that's it, that's it. It's just amazing. Now we are looking all of, of the parts, they are lying, I think everywhere here around. As you can see the, down there are just some parts and here are just massive. They are just everywhere the parts of the chip everywhere very very interesting anyway i think i'm just gonna see you in a moment on my mountain base and we will see what the damage will be like if i'm just gonna throw the chip down the mountain so now we are on my mountain base and i'm just gonna spawn the chip in so i'm just gonna fly here and i'm just gonna spawn it in so just take a little bit and i ha i think i have no 
Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna spawn it in and I think I can't put a seat on it and turn everything off, which I think it's just gonna roll. And yes, we have just some little damage. I don't like it if it's just sliding down because of the thrusters. And yes, we have some damage, but most things it's holding up. But it's just bouncing around. Uh, I will take the risk to put a seat on it, but as you can see, I can't do anything because it's just bouncing around. And yes, it's getting damaged, but uh, not that much that I would like to see on that ship. And yes, now it's just really speeding up and... Ah, uh, we can see also some damage, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And yes, sometimes it's just a little bit uh, fly- not flying, it's just a little bit... And yes, we can see some damage, which is awesome. It's interestingly bouncing around. Which is, nah, I have no idea. Sometimes it's just doing that. Uh, because, but the re-entry was very interesting. Anyway, I'm just gonna look now what the damage will be like on that ship here. And is it now stopping or... I think it stopped or not really, but... Uh, maybe I can now... So... I hope that will be a, be it, and I can't put that down, so I'm just gonna put the engines down, so I think that will be it, I need to turn all the shit, all the shit, I'm now on the other side that I want to be on, and yes, we have see, um, now a little bit more damage, it's hard sometimes to put a seat on it, so I can, can turn everything off. Now it's just bouncing around, like, I have no idea, like it's of rubber or so. I hope this is some more damage, but I have, have no idea. Ah, a little bit of damage here. But I think it's well protected because of the armor around the ship. And... It's just bouncing around with no damage at all, I have no idea. Sometimes ships are doing that. So I can do a thing. It's not that realistic, but what can I do? It, it's just that. So it's just gonna spin now crazy. And now we are at the end of the mountain. And there is just no damage and I have no idea why. It's just sometimes. Yeah. Again, the ships are not made for that, and I think that game also not. So now it stopped. As you can see, there isn't that much of a damage here, a little, a little bit, and here around a little bit. Um, I g yeah, here we have a little hole to the inside, uh, a little bit here. Interesting. Just a little bit of a damage. Not that much. I mean, for throwing it down the mountain, it's not that, that much of a damage. Here on the front, we have a little bit. And now it's just starting rolling again. Interesting, just out of nowhere. So, here on the side we have... Down we have here a part which is damaged, but... Maybe it's just bouncing that around because of the rotors on the side panels. Um, but I don't know. So, anyway, just gonna fly a little bit more around. And if... if yeah, ah. Here are just a little bit of a damage. I can't see all all the crap. It's now moving again. Again, it's just behaving a little bit weird. Um, yeah. I think it will stop in a minute. I have no idea when it's gonna stop. It just I'm removing all the trees from the ground. But Mm, but I think there is no real damage. I'll, I mean, yes, there is damage, but not a major damage. So I'm just gonna let it roll. I think it will stop anyway now or not. Anyway, I think I will, I will end the video now because there is no more damage to show to you. Um, if you want to, to download the ship for yourself, you can do that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And yeah, and that will be the video. So leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment, that will help me. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. 
Goodbye.